that the name of the organization is joint with a T, joint together society. But it is not, it is join together. And later I understood that it's joined together because it encourages other stakeholders like the community, uh, the Koreans, Filipino and local volunteers, the local government unit, and the various stakeholders to come together to work for social development and for the development of a community. It was in 2002 that Venerable Sunim received the Ramon Magsaysay Award. So uh, one of the board of judges then was the good Archbishop of Cagayan de Oro, Bishop Tony Desma. And uh, I think after the awards, was it after, yeah, after the awarding ceremonies, the Venerable wanted to offer the prize uh, money to the Philippines. So when we got to have a conversation later on, he was asking where in the Philippines he could also bring his Jungto Society to be of help to the marginalized poor. And I suggested to him to come over to Mindanao and uh, put him in contact with the couple, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Borja. And there they were able to see the remote areas that uh, could be serviced by a, a school building. And since that time, over this uh, maybe past uh, maybe 15 years now, the Jungta Society has been very helpful in, I understand, setting up more than 100 classrooms in about six provinces. There I was glad to see that they really had some tangible uh, results, that it was not only building the school, but it was really community building because they were also asking the local people to provide the labor and they would just provide the materials. So the stakeholders are really the local community. To me, Kagahuman is a very difficult area. One is because of the trail. At some point, you have to, to walk and make sure that your body fits that particular trail. The local government makes sure that when we visit the area, we have some military escorts or peacekeeping forces with us. So it was very striking because uh, JTS would really like to go to places where people are afraid to tread. And it was very challenging. I can only imagine the children walking at least three hours just to go to the nearest school. And with such a difficult trail, um, to me, it, it, it's very important that JTS can also go there. there. There is a criteria of JTS in selecting communities. And we are very firm on this. You know? Number one, for example, is that the community should be five to six kilometers away from the nearest school. In other words, no school in the area. And there is a community of more than 40 households, which can compose already the first grader and second grader. And the other consideration is the community is willing to provide labor counterpart. So GTS will provide the materials. That was the first uh, uh, set of criteria we developed at the start. Uh, my realization is that this is the kind of volunteerism and the danger of our work, working in very remote areas. And these are areas where there is no government existing, no services. And we think that our efforts would also help the government bring all other services to the area. And for us, the trust of GTS is very appropriate for these remote areas. Because if we put up, for example, the school, which is actually the role of the government, but we assume that uh, the government is not around. This school will serve as a magnet for other services of the government. The goals of JTS primarily revolve around the three major themes. Feed the hungry, 
educate the illiterate and then heal the sick. And among these three, their entry point is really education. I think JTS believes that if people work, if people sacrifice, if people uh, serve, then perhaps this world can be a better place to live in. Aside from that, uh, there should be complementary activities because it should not stop at education. They also need to eat proper nutrition, good food. Finally, they also need the other basic services like health. So even if there is education, but if people are sickly, they cannot also go to school regularly and attend to classes. Building um, about more than a hundred classrooms is no joke, and it's a big, uh, it's a big amount of resources that they have uh, spent with us. And aside from education, they have also built several other projects like health center, they assisted in food production, uh, water system, and many other projects. And also collaborating with other groups to also bring about peace uh, using education as the entry. So thank you very much to JTS. I think you deserve this. Mm -hmm.